Nisambula Vinaka and a very good morning to you all. It's indeed an honor to be here amongst you all to the official launching of the Child Sensitive Social Protection in Fiji assessment of the care and protection allowance. Uh, the report that has been produced with the partnership and support provided by UNICEF Pacific. Our sincere gratitude and appreciation goes to UNICEF for its continued commitment and of course, as mentioned, a happy commitment and support given to the Ministry in advancing children's rights and development in Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, today, today's event marks another milestone achievement by Fiji in providing social protection for our children. The Fijian government is focused on investing for the future and of course, investing in our children is investing in our future. The government continues to pledge its commitments to upholding the children's rights including the right to social protection. This commitment is enshrined in the 2013 Constitution of Fiji, where Article 37 states that, I quote, the state shall take reasonable measures to achieve the progressive realization of the rights of every person to social security, unquote. Social protection is a fundamental human right stipulated by the International Declaration of Human Rights and the Convention on the Rights of the Child, Fiji is signatory to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, and as a nation, we are duty-bound to fulfill our obligations under this convention. Ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned, in the Pacific, Fiji has been at the forefront in terms of social protection. We have various social protection programs that have been providing uh, income security to poor families, vulnerable elderly, people with disabilities, and of course, the children in need and we continue to strive towards a comprehensive social protection system. If I may state here, the Fijian government is spending over half a billion dollars in the education sector with the provisions of free milk, wheat bakes, um, free education, bus fare subsidies, textbooks. These are all initiatives that indicate the government's commitment to ensure that the children of this country are provided with the opportunity to access and aspire for academic excellence. I'm also pleased to announce that Fiji is taking the lead role in providing social protection for our children in the Pacific. And with this assessment of the care and protection allowance, we not only acknowledge the importance of the social protection for children, but also set our commitment to evaluating and continuously improving our way of providing social protection for the betterment of the children. The care and protection allowance is a social protection scheme are targeted at assisting poor and vulnerable children through providing monthly cash allowances and food voucher. The beneficiaries of this program include children living in single-headed um, households, children with elderly caregivers, children with disabilities, and those children that reside, uh, sorry, reside in institutional homes. We believe these are the children that are most deprived in the country. Due to the circumstances, these children would otherwise miss the opportunity to grow up, to be healthy, educated, and fulfill adults. More so, the monthly food voucher program ensures minimum levels of nutrition for the growth of these children, while the cash transfer component helps the families to meet other necessities such as transportation, access to health care, education, housing, clothing, and supplementary nutrition. Findings of the assessment show, and this confirms international experiences with cash transfer, that the money has been used by beneficiary families as intended, and that it has significant impact in improving the lives of the children. Through this kind of social protection schemes, we are confident that we are investing in our children's future. Ladies and gentlemen, besides it's important as a fundamental human right, social protection is an economic investment as well. All over the world, social protection has been helping countries to reduce poverty. Children in poverty, children living in poverty tend to be at a higher risk of poor nutrition, resulting in poor health. And of course, this can have long-term effects and can be passed from one generation to the next. The cash transfer component program such, uh, with the care and protection allowance intends to break this vicious cycle of poverty allowing these children to be more healthy, educated, and become more productive. 
at this stage, I would also like to reiterate that it's, it's imperative for the recipients to ensure that the cash component is invested into the well-being of the children with the food voucher. The Ministry will reinforce its monitoring mechanisms to ensure that there is no misuse of this assistance. It is also important to note that the care and protection allowance ceases when the child reaches the age of 18 years, after which the families are encouraged to engage in sustainable livelihood programs and guided on the pathway uh, of self-sufficiency. Ladies and gentlemen, our children are the future leaders and investing in our children means building a progressive future for our nation. Making social protection for children our priority will not only benefit the child but also the family as this will mitigate the effect of poverty on families and will strengthen family relationships, thus building stronger communities and greater nations. Moreover, the benefit of cash transfer doesn't only benefit the recipients only. Rather, the cash allowance enables beneficiaries to purchase goods and services in the surrounding areas. The increased demand for goods and services brings a positive boost to the small businesses around the area. Studies in various countries have shown that the money that the government invests for social protection transfers is a stimulant for economic growth. The assessment of care and protection allowance summarized in the report that we are going to launch very shortly allows us to make informed decisions in order to further improve our program. It is certainly useful for all of us to look in, look in depth into the program implementation and analyze what we did well, what challenges we face, and how we can realistically and effectively expand and improve the social protection program for more children in the country. More than that, this assessment also presents lessons learned and best practices for other countries who are considering to establish similar programs. Ladies and gentlemen, our children need, also need the care, attention, affection of their families as well. This is equally as important to the social protection we provide. Parents need to be more vigilant in positive parenting, instilling values of respect, honesty, care in the children, and we believe this will go a long way for us. Positive parenting, as I said, plays a very important role therein ensuring a holistic development of our children uh, through an integrated approach and partnership between governments, non-government organizations, fa families and communities at large. It is truly appalling to see some of our children being neglected and abused in their homes. There's, there's still a lot that can be done to protect our women and children from such horrendous acts which demeans them. As a nation, we have to walk in solidarity and unity to stop and eliminate this courage that continues to plague our society, affecting our women, children, and of course, the family at large. Ladies and gentlemen, with these few words, I once again thank UNICEF for partnering with us all these years and having the faith in the government of the day to take this program forward on a more positive note. And I now have the much pleasure to officially launch the Child Sensitive Social Protection in Fiji Assessment of Care and Protection Report. It is my sincere hope that we will all take the information and knowledge enclosed in this report to advance our work in social protection and inculcate a collaborative platform to foster a more holistic development for our children in the coming years. Thank you very much. And uh, now we'll move on to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs>